Festival of Light, so at the Bureau doing projects and choreography there. Um, I've been asked to make two films specifically about parade choreography and movement, um, just to get people dancing really. This uh, first film is just a routine for you to learn. I've not made it around any specific kind of theme, it's just some moves to learn. So if that's your thing, um, you can just learn this routine. Um, when I create choreography for a parade, what I usually have is what I call an A routine and a B routine. Uh, so this would be the A routine, it would be the one that I would teach my dancers that I've choreographed. And it's repetitive, it can repeat over and over, which in a parade is really good because if you imagine going down the street in a parade, uh, you've got audience on both sides. So as you move along the road, or wherever you're parading, your audience is constantly changing. So you don't need to learn too much in terms of dance material uh, for the audience to see something different in it every time. Obviously, you don't want to just do the same routine over and over again for an hour. So that's why we have a B routine and um, some improvised sections, which those are going to be covered in my second film. Um, so just for this film, we're going to look at the A routine. Um, you might be carrying a lantern in the parade or a piece of parade art, you might be wearing a big costume. Uh, so we'll think about that as well. You might need to modify your moves if you've made yourself a big snazzy outfit or you've got a big lantern on a stick. Uh, we'll think about that as well. Um, I'm going to use some samba music, which has been created by Mitch. Uh, I think he's done a video as well. Um, I'm not going to do samba moves um, because that's not what I do. Uh, I just do general movement. So uh, we're going to learn to the samba music, which is generally in counts of four. So I think my routine is eight counts of eight, or 16 counts of four, depending on how you want to think about it, but that's the same thing. Um, we also like to think about where the audience is when we're, when we're dancing in the parade and when we're choreographing specifically. Um, so a lot of my moves go out to the side. So you would, but you just need to think about where your audience is. If you're doing an event at home, and you've invited some neighbours to come out into the street and look at you, where are they positioned? You need to just think about looking at them all the time. Um, you might have some audience up in an upstairs window looking at you from there. Um, the other thing we need to think about is, obviously at the minute, social distancing. So if you are um, asking people to come and watch you dancing and performing, obviously think about the social distancing, trying to stay two metres apart. In terms of dancing in a parade, that is such a good thing. When you're dancing in a parade, if there's a few of you, if you're really close together, no one really gets seen because it's just a block of people. If you spread out about two metres apart, which is what we've been learning about social distancing, the audience can see everybody and uh, they get a really good view of everything. So it's actually a really good thing when you're performing in a parade. Um, it's also going to be a really good idea to remind your audience, if you've got one, to stay distance. So, let's move on and learn the moves. Okay, so let's learn a dance. I uh, always start my A routine with the same step. It's just really easy. I do it four times, step together, starting on the right leg, usually. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to turn around so that when you're following me, it's like you're behind me in a class. So I apologise to have the back view of me, but I think some people find it easier like that. So, this step together. First of all, uh, obviously when you're parading, you want your choreography to travel. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate it across here in a little while. Um, but just to learn it, we'll do it on the spot. So, uh, we take our step on the right leg, step together. And then we go the other way, step together. And we do that twice more. So it will look like this. You can swing your arms along with it. Uh, we'll think about if you're carrying something in the parade, um, once we've learned all the moves, because it slightly changes what your arms do. Um, so, but if you're not carrying anything, if you're just wearing a nice snazzy costume, you can go one, two, three, four. And I'm just swinging my arms really relaxed. I'll do it facing you. So imagine I'm going to the right. It goes one, two, three, four. Now everyone swings their arms slightly differently, 
So don't worry if you can't do them exactly like me. Some people want to go the other way. That's totally fine. Um, so that's our beginning. So let's just try it to a little bit of music if I can get my phone to wake up. There it is. Here we go. So it's a nice steady speed. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay. So I'll count and then I'll give us five, six, seven, eight because we're dancing and that's what tradition dictates. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, top. And it's as easy as that. Okay. So, obviously the counts in the music, there's eight counts and we're doing four steps. But each step takes two counts. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I might count one, two, three, four, which is sometimes confusing and sometimes not. So let's move on to the next move. So that's our first chunk of steps. The next thing we're going to do is something I like to call a shoop, and it's a pull along shoop. Uh, so uh, we've just gone this way. We're going to go back in that direction. So back to the right. And again, this is like a step together, but we're going to keep going in that direction. So your feet just go step together, step together. You might have seen a shoop like that. I'm doing it slightly different today. Then we go back that way, step together, step together. Now I'm calling it a pull along shoop because you're going to make it look like you're pulling yourself along on a rope or something. So you can reach out and grab. We can do this again with having something in your hand with slightly change, change what you're doing with your arms. But for now, we'll do step together, step together. And that's as if you're pulling yourself along, step together, step together. So it will go one, two, three, four, straight into it, step together, and so on. Let's do that with a little bit of music. Here we go. Hopefully it will come in. There it is. So you can mark time just by having a little groove. I'll count us in on the next whistle. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, one. Lovely. Pull along, shoot. Let's do that again. to the audience. So, I always say to the right first, it's because I'm a right-hander. If you're a left-hander, that might feel strange, so you can always change it so that you go left first. That is fine, no problem. So, we've just shooped this way, pull along. We're going to walk directly in that direction. Actually, it will be diagonal when we do it in the parade, but while we're learning it, going to the right. Right, left, right, and then you're going to pick your left knee up on the fourth count. So it will look like this. One, two, three, four. Then you sort of pivot on that foot and you're going back in that direction. Five, six, seven, eight. And on those bits where you pick up your knee, you can do something out to the audience. I don't mind what it is. Uh, so I'm imagining again, I'm on the street, I've got my audiences both sides. Uh, I'm going to do a little push out to them. So I've just done my shoots this way. That's my second shoot there. I'm going to go three steps that way. One, two, three, push. One, two, three, push. Okay, let's add that on with some music. Here it comes. Ooh. I love summer. Okay, from the beginning.
shoot for large. And walking straight across. And push. And the number eight counts. There we go. So we've now got five lots of eight counts. We're nearly there. Uh, let's check in my notes again. Oh yes, I like this one. I'm going to demonstrate this from over here. Just check I'm in, in frame. Um, it's what I call a, a wave. But what we're going to do is we're going to walk directly forward. So while we're learning it, we'll just do it on the spot, unless you've got the space to walk forward, which is great. Uh, but just so you can see what it looks like, you're going to do eight walks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I nearly went off the edge. Uh, and with your arms, you're going to do sort of a wave. So you're going to start down, come up and over the top. And that will take eight counts. So we're going to do it twice. So just once through will look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you can go into it again. Four, one, two, etc. So while we're learning it, on the spot, you'll see me doing this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now walking forwards will really move us along in the parade. It might be that at that point, the parade is stopped for some reason, or there's some geese crossing the road, sometimes happens, uh, and you need to slow it down. So you can just keep it on the spot. If you need to move the parade along a bit, it's a really good opportunity to do that. You take really big steps. Whee! There we go. Uh, so let's add that on with some music. Here it comes. Let's go back to the beginning this time. There it is. Okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Pull along, shoot. Start again. Shoot. just have one more. I'm going to give you an option for this one. So I really like spinning. Some people love it. Some people don't like it. It can affect your balance a little bit. So I'm going to start with the spinny version. It's really easy. It's four walks in one direction and all you do is turn your body as you go. So you go right, turn yourself a quarter, left, turn yourself another quarter, right, turn yourself a bit more round, and then probably put the feet together for your fourth step. So it's probably three steps and then bring your feet together. So it will look like this. Turn, 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 together. And then we'll go the other way. Turn, 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 together. If turning is not for you, no problem. You can put in another shoot there. And let's do different arms this time. Shoot and shoot. Shoot and shoot. A bit of a wave theme. Maybe it's a watery themed parade. It's definitely watery themed outside today. Uh, so, we can add on our turns straight after our wavy walks. So, this is the second set. So, we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, straight into our turns. One, two, three, and one, two, three. In fact, let's put a clap on the end. Here we go. One, two, three, and clap. And one, two, three, and clap. Let's put the whole thing together. Here it comes. There it is. <laughs> I thought I'd having a technical difficulty there. Okay. 
I've been sort of doing it quite close to my wall so that you can see all of me. Um, so I didn't have much space to move it around. I'm going to turn it around now, give myself a bit more space ahead, and I'll do it facing you. Um, I'll try, I'll mirror it, so I'll be starting that way. That's my right and my left. Love this music. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and a one. several times in different directions but it just gives you a different angle for it there so let's have a think about differences you might need if you're carrying a lantern so I've got my got my bamboo out of the garden um, you it depends on the, the weight of your lantern if it's a very heavy one you need both hands then I would suggest just really doing the moves with that lantern in hand. So here's your shoe, and you can just oscillate the lantern as it goes. You don't want your lantern swinging around all over, so your dancing might need to be downgraded in energy slightly, but you want to keep the energy up. Also think about, you know, looking out for the audience, look up at your lantern, it encourages the audience to look upwards. Um, if you've got a very light lantern, you might be able to carry it in one hand. Um, so you could do some of the arms here. I'm hoping you can see the stick in my hand. And then your shoop, you can still... Again, you don't want your lantern shaking around too much. So it might just be better just to keep it uh, in your two hands. You, uh, you also might have made a puppet, a backpack puppet. You could still do... You've got your arms controlling some arms out there. You can really make that puppet do the dance with you. Just really think about where your puppet's eyes are looking and what the audience can see. Uh, I'm going to do the routine one more time and I'm going to try and travel it across my living room. Uh, I haven't made that much space because there isn't that much space. Uh, but I will try and do it. Travelling along, let me just see where I can start. I can start there. And uh, I'll do mini, mini movements forward, just so you can see how it progresses. And you want, really want your steps to be going diagonally along the road. So rather than going to the side for these bits directly, you're going to want to go, if I move right back here, you can see that I'm stepping diagonally forwards and then on my shoops diagonally forwards. So I'm getting gradually closer and closer to the camera in a quite a scary fashion there. Uh, so, for learning the air routine with me. I hope you've enjoyed it. 
Um, obviously that just loops over and over then, you can just keep repeating it. If you want to, you can add some of your own moves in, that's totally fine. The only thing to remember if you are adding your own moves in, is you keep moving them forwards because it's for a parade and the parade goes in one direction only. Uh, we don't want it to start coming backwards because that's going in the wrong direction. Uh, so if you want to do some more, uh, I'm making a second video uh, in which you can create your own B routine if making things up is more your thing uh, and we can have a little think about some improvisation ideas too. Uh, so join me for that if you like, but thank you, bye!